Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. I give up. I don't remember the combination. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, trademark, at 4468. Who needs a f hint? It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost $1,000 to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, J.D. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Grandson, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! You owe five bucks to my swear jar. I think my stilts are broken. Ransom, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again, sir. I'll just take the big bucks. It's my empty Ransom the Clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. This goof keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. 
It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Now there's the face I love. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. Win big today. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, one hundred and thirty-eight dollars in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me! Not my problem! Give me my joke book, face! I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies! Plus, 138 dollars in interest! Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! I don't know. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the three kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. You, I'm out of here. The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Top... Ah, next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. I think my steels are broken. Come on over. You got my money, Ransom the Ass White Clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Grand prize if you could shoot the hair off, Brent. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the Insult Clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great 
priorities you got there. Yeah, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toiletron 3000! Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen, yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! The you, old lady! You up the you Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, gritty little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him.